This is a little um, animation showing uh, what we mean by half-life or rate of radioactive decay. Here the red dots show um, a large number of identical atomic nuclei that all obey the same decay law. Um, and so uh, let's just start this to show how this radio, radio uh, nuclei uh, undergo radioactive decay. I've started it and you can see as the red uh, dots disappear it's indicating that those particular atoms have undergone radioactive decay and this graph here is showing um, the rate of, re of decay and as it turns out all uh, isotopes, radioisotopes follow the same rate law or pattern that means um, and it's called first order uh, rate kinetics and it decays in this way. And because they all follow the same rate law, we can say that um, we can identify the half-life, the amount of time it takes for half of the radioisotopes to decay. So in this case, the half-life was 50 seconds. And so you could see uh, if you go about halfway down to 50 seconds, maybe right here, um, Let's see, whoops, we're having some problems with this. But anyway, it would be about right here. You can see 50 seconds would be half. And then in another 50 seconds, half of that sample would decay. And in another 50 seconds, half of that original sample. So if we um, increase the half-life to 100 seconds and rest restart the, um, the decay, you can see that the rate is slower. So the longer the half-life, that means it takes that much time for half of the original sample to disappear. So you can see that this is um, uh, decaying the same uh, rate law, but the time is longer for half of it to decay. So different radioisotopes have different what's called half-lives. They can be very, very um, short time spans or very, very long time spans, depending on the radioisotope. They all decay using the same rate law, it's just the time that the unit on the um, horizontal axis will be different, okay?